Okay, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to format um, a layout so that an image uh, fits into a text block such that the text wraps around it. And we can see this as I readjust the width of the page, we can see how the text is wrapping around that image block. So here we have a, uh, another, we have a site that looks very similar um, and that's because we have a designer who's actually just um, replicated this first site. But right now I'm working with her to actually go ahead and fix this. So right now, as we can see in her layout, um, we have this text block here. And I know this, if I highlight all, I can see everything that's within this text block. And then we have this text block here, okay? Now let's look at this one. And if I highlight all, we can see that that's actually just one text block, okay? So in order to fix this layout, I'm gonna do, I'm going to highlight all this, um, cut, paste, and delete this text block here, all right? Now I'm gonna take this image and I'm just gonna, just gonna drag it right in. And now we can see, boom, there's that box, right? Before it was like that, we don't want any lines, we want the box. Boom, there we go. Okay, so in order to uh, put a text, uh, in order to put an image block uh, into a text block such that the text wraps around it, we simply need to drag that image such that we get that little box uh, icon indicating as such. And now, beautiful, now we have the layout that we wanted. This particular layout style um, can look very magazine-like. You know, a lot of, um, I, I, as a designer of interior design websites, I really like magazine style layouts um, because, you know, it, it almost brings uh, something that's very familiar to web, uh, interior designers into the web. It, it actually makes a website feel a little bit more like print, which can make it feel a little bit more uh, high quality in a way. So um, that's one, one use for it. I don't always use this technique, um, but in this case, you know, based on what we're given by the interior designer, right, we only have the text block and we have this like little small square image. I mean, it really doesn't make sense to, um, it doesn't make sense to do the layout like this, right? It doesn't make sense to put this image, you know, like this, whoops. Yeah, like this. It doesn't make sense to put it like this. We just have too much white space. You know, a lot of um, what we should be trying to do with our layouts is creating very pleasing shapes. Creating pleasing shapes. So this here is a pleasing shape, right? We have a nice, pleasing shape. Every, uh, you know, th there's no extra space unnecessary. We have a very nice pleasing shape. I mean, it's not surprising that this, this would be called a magazine layout because magazines are about using every, you know, possible inch in an efficient way. So it's very easy to imagine how this particular layout became popular within print. So there's a little overview um, about how to use this particular technique to create a, uh, to, to drag an image within a text block to create a magazine style layout.